Hi, I'm Reese, and a few of you guys from the Porsche Forums Australia have asked me to document my build. Um, I have a 1976 911 G body. Uh, the car was bought with a converted 993 body kit, uh, a few club sport bits and pieces. Uh, I bought it as a rolling shell and decided that uh, since the base of it was sort of I could do anything with it, decided I'm going to V8 it. Um, it's going to be, yeah, a real hot rod. Um, so, what I'll do is I'll give you guys a quick rundown on the car, a couple plans, and sort of where I'm at, and then I haven't decided yet whether or not I will sort of do a monthly or a weekly video on the updates, whether or not you guys want something with a bit of decent editing and music and stuff or whether or not you prefer say a five to eight minute video every couple days just raw and pretty much everything that's just happening as it goes along uh, so what I'll do is I'll give you guys a quick run around the car uh, I've already stripped a few parts off it so I'm sorry that you guys have missed that but um, I never really intended to film it but a few guys have asked for it since it'll be a, I think it's only it'll be the second one in Australia that'll be a V8 one, so, and I think it's the only one that's going to be an LS, uh, and it will be the only one that'll be LS twin turbo. Um, so, I'll give you guys a quick run around the car and uh, we'll go from there. Right now, I'm sorry if the light is a little bit poor at the moment, I haven't quite got it into the shed yet. I'm um, hoping to get that in next weekend. Uh, but for now, this is it. So, at the moment, guards are just lightly sitting on. So they're just resting at the moment. I've had them all taken off. I need to do some fiberglass repairs to this one. The bumper has had a bit of a hit and it's a stress fractured part of this here. So I've got a little bit of fiberglass repair to do. I'll probably just have to grind out and then just, uh, I'll re-glass a full sheet and then sand it back. Uh, as far as I'm aware, the front is five inches wider than a narrow body and 12 on the rear. Uh, currently, the wheel is on a spacer uh, and it's also on a 205 and we are a very long way away out. The car comes with a Club Sport Wing, standard 993 lights and bar. Interior, I've stripped the majority of it out. Car is all dynamated, which I quite like uh, during, due to the fact that the V8, it will be loud. So, at the moment, I'm just about to start making my roll cage. And uh, Jeff, if I had known you were buying the Alpha, I would have gave you the cage. Um, I actually picked this cage up on Gumtree about two weeks ago. A guy was selling it. Uh, I asked him to quickly take uh, the dimensions. Uh, the width of the main hoop was the main thing, and it um, happened to be the exact same size as the uh, 911. So I picked it up, but uh, yeah, it was out of a, an Alpha 105. So yeah, if I had a known, I would have sent it down to you. But uh, I've cut it up and decided to just keep the main hoop and I've just been uh, making some small changes for it to suit the 911. At the moment, I've had to grind out and cut out all this uh, dynamating and this sticky, sticky tar. It's an absolute nightmare to get off. I don't recommend anyone doing it. So, as you would have seen in uh, other videos, paper templates and uh, trim that out. Round it all back and uh, I just drew around on some plate and uh, made up some brackets. Now, I know that the cam specs say three mil plate uh, with 120 centimeter square area 
Um, the car, it's a little tin car and I had the choice of a few different bits of material so I've got 6mm base plate and a uh, 4mm top plate which I will weld on here in the next few days. My back plates, same thicknesses, they come out to 90. I'll be mounting these high up the back and they will be roughly sitting about here. So that'll be a future video to come. Uh, I'll be running just a set of um, aftermarket race seats so we'll be doing a seat install and one thing I was never a fan of of the 911 was the dash uh, as you can see I've started pulling all the wiring out I'm actually going to strip the whole car and a company in the states called American Auto Wire do a really good um, rewire kit that's uh, plug and play almost to the extent where everything plugs into the fuse box or everything that it's supplied with so whether or not it's the uh, ignition barrel or your wiper switches and stuff like that everything's already wired to just plug in the back so you just run your ends to your bits and pieces and it's pretty hassle free so my wiring loom was actually quite hacked the guys had uh, pulled the gauges out and just cut every gauge out which I'm not sure why because it's just spade fittings on the ends anyways um, it's had a power window kit fitted so um, I'll have to rewire that and with the stereo I'm thinking I will uh, fill this in I'll make a flat panel I'll fold that up at work and with the center speaker here I won't be running a center speaker and the dash I have is quite cracked and it needs a lot of repair. So I'm thinking I might actually just make a fiberglass mold of it and with this center I will cut this center bar out and I might mold a small hump in there and I'll put a, uh, a double din uh, system in there that'll also have sat nav and be a little bit of modernness in the car um, and if I got something that uh, was sort of the new Apple Play systems I know you can also get the Talk app which will give you a little bit of real-time monitoring you can get some gauges you can monitor boost and a few other bits and pieces so it could be handy to have uh, everything else is just plain shifter the frosting stuff will all be gone due to uh, V8, so I'll be running just an aftermarket hot rod uh, AC heater system outside the car. Uh, we've just got the standard brakes. I've actually picked up a uh, complete set of 996 calipers and uh, brake so we'll be doing a, uh, a brake upgrade I'll do a video on that uh, we also got a short shifter that will be going in now the car is going to be running a Subaru WRX uh, 5 speed out of a turbo 5 speed um, which has been shortened it'll have the uh, rear drive line removed and the output shaft on the Subaru box as opposed to say the 915 the 915 will come out of the bottom where the Subaru box sort of it kicks out a little bit at the top and comes out uh, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do yet but I'm thinking if I shorten the shifter handle I'll be able to raise up the shifter itself and rather than have the shaft run through the small tunnel I can actually have it up and have say I don't know a painted or a chrome shaft like a spiker maybe that'll run a little bit higher and just be exposed and run through to the back I'll put a small hole and a grommet through the uh, the rear tunnel 
and uh, go straight into the top of the box. Something different and uh, it makes it easier than trying to run a worm of all different universal joints through the car and I just don't know how well that's going to go. So for now that's the car guys, I'll keep you updated as we go along. Obviously the first part will be uh, finishing off the roll cage, getting that in, hopefully have all that welded in by the weekend coming. Um, I'll test fit up my new wheels next weekend. I've also just had a new carpet kit arrive, so it looks like a, uh, an amazing jigsaw puzzle. That is about 30 pieces of carpet from, from what it looks like in the box, and uh, we'll go from there. So I don't have a name for the channel, guys, so if you have any ideas or suggestions, leave them in the comments below, and uh, anything that you want to see or anything you want me to show you in detail, let me know, and uh, we'll go from there. So until the next one. See you guys.